Hey guys, you're watching Dowski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how we can control curves with anchor points all in Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We're gonna be creating this kind of wiggly line shape thing. Um, it's, it's, it's really cool. I mean, I think so, you might not, that's fine. But we'll jump into Illustrator and I'll show you how to create it anyway. So now in Illustrator, you can see I have a new artboard, 1920 by 1080 pixels. And this is what I'm gonna be creating in this tutorial. Now, the purpose of this video is if you're looking at this shape and thinking, hmm, how did he create that? Then this video is for you. It's just another look at how we can use anchor points and modify them in the latest version of Illustrator to create shapes like this. Because of course, there is no tool in Illustrator to create this specific shape but we can use a particular tool in combination with another feature, modifying anchor points, to create this shape. So it's kind of learning the different tools and how they can complement one another. So anyway, let's zoom back out. First of all, I'm gonna create some swatches. So let's click on this, uh, grab the eyedropper tool, and we'll just sample that. Go to my swatches panel here, and just click new swatch. There we go. And we'll sample the orange as well. And then go down to the bottom, sample, okay, yep, great. And if you don't see your swatches panel, windows, swatches, there you go. So those two colors are there. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover over the rectangle tool, left click and hold, and go down to the star tool. Just left click anywhere on the artboard and I can enter some values. I'm just gonna change the points to four and click okay. And then what I can do is I can scale this up holding shift. If I don't hold shift, it will do this and distort out of shape, which I don't want. So let's just move that around, position it roughly in the center, and then we'll just swap the fill and the stroke. And then if I go over to the properties panel on the right, I can just bump up the stroke weight. Now, if you don't see stroke or anything, or you're on an older version of Illustrator, you don't have this properties panel, just go up to window, down to stroke, here we go. And all of these aspects that you see in the latest version are there in that window menu at the top. So now we have this uh, four-sided star. What I'm gonna do is with this selected, I've got the main selection tool active. If I then click on the direct selection tool, that's the lighter one alongside it, I see all of these different little circles pop up. See these circles here? And I can click on these and I can round off the corners. So what I could do is I could round these off, something like this. And then if I click on them, well, what it does is it continues to round all of the corners off. However, if I hover over one of them and single click on these little circles with the direct selection tool, you can see it changes color. The, the outside becomes bolder. And that indicates that just that one is selected. So what I can do now is hold shift and just click on all of these outside ones here, but then leave the other four as they are. So now when I drag out or towards the center, I'm literally just bending these lines. So we could do something like this. I could bend it maybe a bit more inwards. And then I could do the same here. So I could click on these Oh, so if you want to deselect, just click anywhere outside, go back, select with the main selection tool, switch to the direct selection tool, and there you go. You see those points appear, so we can select these four holding shift, and then I could go and maybe bend these ones a bit more. So you could create something like that if you wanted. So essentially, once you've done this, just then select everything by dragging over it, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in front, back or place, it doesn't matter which one. And we're just gonna rotate this. You can free rotate or you can hold shift and it will snap to an increment of 45 degrees. And then what I could do is we'll go and, well, let's go and double the stroke on this one. So there we go, 40 point stroke, slightly different to the example, but you know, get creative with it. You could even add dashed lines or anything if you want. And then what I'm gonna do is just hover over where the star tool is, left click and hold, it brings up the menu. And what I can do is then just draw a rectangle. We'll swap that fill and that stroke. 
And then with the fill selected here, I can just go over to fill or my swatches panel and just click on that dark brown color. And then just go up to object, arrange and center back just so we can actually see what's underneath it. And then I can delete the example and there we go. We're done. Rightio, so there we go. That's a look at how we can get creative with curves and anchor points and essentially combine different tools. So like the star tool and the direct selection tool in this example, we combine them together to create a shape that is quite original. And it's just really an example of how you can create more complex shapes by combining different tools together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.